Welcome to Chorus Stories. Are you ready to meditate with Cory? Hi friend, don't forget to subscribe, say that you like the video, and also press the bell so that you get notifications every time I make a new video. If you love Heidi, Cherry, and Vea, or Tucker and Leo stories, you can now get exclusive stories on my Patreon account. Go to the links below the video and you can join Heidi Cherry and Vea Club or the Tucker and Leo Club and get exclusive stories with your names in them. I love you all so much. Enjoy the story. Bye, friend. Are you ready? To meditate with Kari. Make sure that you're laying still and quiet in your bed so that you can listen to the story and relax your body and let go of your busy, busy day. Heidi, Cherry, and Vea were trying to help Mariama. Mariama was having an issue at school. She was super smart, kind, sweet, funny, adorable, lovely, and all of that wonderful stuff. But Mariama got nervous when it came to tests. She was smart enough to know all of the information that she needed to remember. It was just that under test situations, Mariama got stressed out and then everything just was horrible. Cherry was role-playing with Mariama. All right, all right, all right. Sit down, sit down, said Cherry. Okay, listen, listen. You know when you're role-playing, right, it's so important that you actually role-play. That means you actually do the role of the play, I think. Something like that. Something like that. Anyway, right, so... You can be at your desk, right? It's test day. And me and Heidi and Vea, we're all going to help you. And Mizu, Mizu, your cat, she's going to help too, right? So, listen, you sat there. You're all sweaty. Your palms are sweating. You've got sweat flying off your face. You're so stressed. So, like, do that, all right, Mariama? Do that right now, in this moment, like... Role play properly, role play, and like start profusely sweating, like really sweating. Heidi passed her a glass of water, and Mariama started flicking water all over her face, and then she was flicking water all over Cherry that was sat across from her, and pretending that she was profusely sweating. Literally, sweat was pouring out of her everywhere. This made Miriamma laugh a lot, which was good because that was part of what Cherry was going for. She wanted Miriamma to lighten up about tests. It's not the end of the world. So, to do that, she had to make her laugh and get more chilled out about the whole testing situation. So, we all know Cherry is very good at making you laugh. So, she was in the best, bestest form, and she was trying her hardest to help Mariama. So Mariama is now sat at the pretend desk as if she's at school taking a test, and she's got sweat, which is just water, running all over her face, and it's flying everywhere in the schoolroom, which made Vea say, Oh, um, do we? Do we really have to role play that realistically? And I'm sure, very sure, that Mariama doesn't sweat that much when she's in a testing situation. Cherry said, Look, it's so important that we do it completely authentically. It has to be completely authentic. And if she's very stressed about having a test, then yeah. She's going to sweat a lot. All right. Also, this is, this is something else that you might do. You might faint. Mariama looked at Cherry and said, I, I don't think I'll faint. Well, 
I think it would be really good if you just went through the motions as if you actually fainted. Actually, no, 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 don't do that. That might be a bit too much. Okay, so, right, you're testing, you're testing. Heidi, do you have any ideas about how she can prep for a test? It's very important that we have your knowledge and your wisdom right now. Heidi said, Okay, yes, I actually do have one very good tip. Well, maybe more than one. One thing that you can do is when you're prepping for your test, you can make flashcards. And on those flashcards, you can add just like certain facts that you really want to remember. And then you just sit with your flashcards and you you look at a flashcard and you go, oh yeah, that's that point. Oh, oh yeah, that's that. I need to remember that. And you just keep going through the flashcards or you get your mum to do the flashcards with you or your dad to do the flashcards with you or, you know, Mizu, if Mizu's feeling up to it, the cat can help you with the flashcards. You never know. And then also another really, really good tip is this. When you're doing the flashcards, Imagine that everything that you're reading, that you're trying to retain, you actually imagine that you have a treasure chest in your brain. Cherry said, what? Heidi said, yeah, a treasure chest. Cherry said, what's she doing with a pirate's treasure chest in a brain? What's that going to do for a testing situation? Heidi said, well, what you do is, you say, say, say you have to remember a date because you're doing something to do with a history test. You read the information that you have to remember for the test. And you imagine in your mind that all the information is being sucked into the treasure chest. Like money and jewels and coins but instead of it being treasure like that it's actually informational treasures oh said cherry oh hi day that's absolutely genius that's genius that's so smart right okay so let's do it right now mariamma close your eyes my love close your eyes mariamma closed her eyes they started to tell her all of this information, just made up stuff, as if it was facts that she needed to remember for her test. Imagine in your mind, said Cherry, it's floating through the ethers, floating through the sky, floating up your nostrils and into your brain, all that very needed, necessary wisdom and information. All those facts are coming your way. Imagine, take a deep breath, Mariamma, take a deep breath right now and imagine that you're sucking in all the information through your nostrils and your nostrils are like vacuum cleaners and you're sucking and sucking and sucking and it's going up into your brain, into your treasure chest and then, and then, and then, oh wait a minute, Heidi and then what? Heidi said, okay, so then when you're in your school and you're about to take your test and you're sat at your desk, right, you imagine that your brain, your treasure chest is opening up, literally, you're opening up the treasure chest. And as you open up the treasure chest, all of that information, the treasurable information is going to pour out down your arm, through your hand, through your pen, onto your paper. And you're going to be able to recall all of the facts that you remembered off your flashcards and also if you can make a song of it or make a rhyme out of something that you're trying to remember. That also works. But since we know that you are so smart and you already know all the stuff, it's just the test that's a bit freaky deaky. Then all you have to do is just imagine you're opening up your treasure chest in your mind and you're like, oh, this is fine. This is totally okay. I can just 
open my treasure chest and I'm going to remember all that stuff that I read, all that stuff that the teacher told me, all that stuff I did with my mum, all that stuff that I wrote down and made flashcards with. It's all in there. I just have to open up the chest. Cherry said, OMG, OMG, I wish I were that smart. You're so smart, Heidi. That's an absolutely, absolutely brilliant, fan dabby dozy idea. Bestest, bestest way I've ever heard of anybody retaining information. All right, so, so let's get back to role playing because it's so important, Mariama. It's so important. Right, okay. <gasps> you blinked. Mariama was just blinking. Cherry said, You blinked. You're not supposed to blink during a test. Vaya said, Um, uh, me doesn't think that that's correct. Miriamma started laughing. What? she said. I can't blink. And she looked a bit frightened for a second. Cherry said, <gasps> Just kidding. Actually, can you imagine if you were in a test and you couldn't blink and you were trying your hardest not to blink? <gasps> can you imagine your eyeballs would be as runny as the rest of your face because you're so sweaty and everything? And you'd be looking down at your palms and your palms would be like waterfalls and you'd be like, oh no, I'm sweating. I'm sweating out my ears. I'm sweating out my armpits. I'm sweating out my palms. And now I can't even blink. How the heck am I supposed to concentrate on my treasure? your chest <laughs> no anyway i'm just kidding i'm just putting you under pressure i'm putting you under pressure mariamma because if you're under pressure then then guess what guess what if it's like the worst of the worst and you're like you're like you're like oh, in the middle of a hurricane and you're like your teacher goes okay begin your test now no talking no blinking no sweating no sneezing yeah nothing Mariamma, you have to sit there like a statue. Like a statue! You have to sit there like a statue and not move one little millimetre. Is that right, Heidi? Heidi said, yeah, if you mean something little, then yeah, that, that'll work, a millimetre. Yeah, one little millimetre. Don't move. Don't blink. Don't breathe. Thea said, oh. Mm. Cherry, please, I think you're being a bit too silly. I mean, how, how is she not supposed to breathe during the whole test? Then, if she didn't breathe, then she probably would pass out. Cherry said, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Well, you know I'm kidding, don't you, Mariamma? You know I'm kidding, don't you, love? You know I am, don't you? Mizu knows I'm kidding. Mizu, Mariamma's cat, was just laid with her paws up in the air like she wasn't paying attention to Cherry at all. She was looking at her paws and she was moving them back and forward as if she was walking but she was actually laid down upside down, walking upside down or something. It was very strange. Cherry said, OK, no, seriously, back to role playing. I'm your teacher. Everyone, it's time for testing. It's time for testing. Now, could you please uh, turn over your papers? Could you please get your pen in your hand? Could you please start your test? Cherry started winking at Miriamma. Miriamma got the message. She picked up her pen and pretended that she was starting to actually do a real test. Heidi said, OK, Miriamma. This is where we get serious. Think about everything that's in your treasure chest. Mariamma closed her eyes for a second. She saw the treasure chest in her mind. It was surrounded by coins and jewels and all different pieces of paper with written scribbles all over them like ancient scrolls of wisdom. And then in her mind, she opened her treasure chest and a beam of light flew out as if it was filled with gold. On the beams of light 
flowed all of the knowledge and wisdom that she needed. Everything that she'd read, everything that she'd talked about with her mum, everything was right there in her memory, like a memory bank. This made her feel very confident because she knew she knew all of the information. She knew that she was smart. She knew that just with a bit of practice and an extra bit of confidence that she could get this testing thing down. She knew she'd be okay at it eventually. She just needed a little bit of help. And Heidi, Cherry and Vea and Mizu were right there to help her. She just needed to know and trust and believe that she could do it. And it didn't have to be a big deal. It didn't have to be so stressful. It didn't have to be so nerve-wracking. And it didn't have to be that her whole life depended on the test. She could chill out a little bit. Be confident enough to chill out a little bit and trust in herself and know that she is a smart girl. She just needs to stay calm, to calm down. Cherry said, Can you see it? Can you see all your information in your brain? Can you see it in your mind? Can you see it in your treasure chest? Mariamma said, Yes, yeah, I can still see it. She still got her eyes closed and she was watching all the sh sheets of paper with knowledge and wisdom and facts that she needed in her test, flying out of the treasure chest. And then she could look at them and remember and get the answers right. All of the answers to her tests were right there in her brain. All she had to do was just breathe. And instinctively, she took big deep breaths and this made her feel really calm. Cherry said, Are you deep breathing so you feel calm? Mariamma said, Yeah. Yeah, it's helping me to focus on everything that's in my brain. You know what? You know what's another good thing as well? A really, really good thing to do is look at me over here dancing. Look at me over here doing this. Look at me over here doing that. Right now, Mariamma, I'm pretending to be everyone else in class. And they're all like doing the thing. And they could be distracting if you let them. And you're looking at them going, oh, they look like they're doing it so easy. Oh my gosh, look at Timothy. Timothy looks like he's getting every answer right. Smarty pants. Oh my gosh, look over there at Louise. Louise looks stressed. Her hair's falling out. Cherry started laughing again. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Anyway, my point is, don't pay attention to what everybody else is doing around you. You stay completely focused like a leopard. Like a leopard running for its kill. Mariamma pulled a face like, ugh, gross. Cherry said, oh yeah, that was a bit too far, weren't it? But you know what I mean, stay focused, Mariamma, stay focused. In fact, close your eyes again, Mariamma. Mariamma closed her eyes. Listen to my voice. This is Cherry talking in her meditation voice. Stay focused. Stay focused. I'm hypnotizing you to stay focused. To not get stressed. To chill out and calm down. Mariamma opened her eyes. Okay, Cherry. Yeah, that's great. Thanks. I don't think I need that much, but 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 thank you, Heidi said. I think you're gonna be fine, Mariamma. You're going to do just fine. Just trust yourself. Believe in yourself. Have some confidence. And remember, your treasure chest is right there inside of your mind with everything that you need inside of it. Rhea said, mm -mm. Well said. I think exactly the same. I think you're going to be just fine. 
you just have to remember to take your deep breaths and relax and not get pressured. Stay focused, stay calm and trust in yourself and believe that you have all the information inside of your mind. All you have to do is just open it up and let it out and stay calm. Mariama said, Okay, oh, all right, I think I can do it. I think I'm going to be all right, guys. Thank you so much for your help. Does anyone want a popsicle? Because I'm starving and I think I really need one right now. Everyone put the paws up. Yes, please, yes, please, yes, please. Cherry said, OMG, when would I ever say no to a popsicle? Uh, uh, excuse me? Anybody think you didn't know me? The cats and Mary Emma all went downstairs to get a popsicle. She was feeling much better about the whole situation. Cherry had definitely made her laugh a lot. Heidi had given her lots of good tips. The flashcards, breathing, staying calm. Treasure chest was especially good. So she felt like she was much more prepared for the tests that were coming. Eventually, the cats went home. And Mariama and Mizu went to bed. The end.